Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the steps which I applied here on my Windows PC to get max FPS boost here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. And of course, afterwards, I'm also going to show you FPS boost pack, guys, which works super nice. So therefore, if you guys are enjoying this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That's what I'm going to say so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, what I want to show you pretty much in the first place is that there's actually something on your PC which is called virtual memory. And I'm quite sure every one of you knows what's like normal memory, you know, like RAM on your PC. People usually have like 8, 16, 32 gigs of RAM, something like that. And if your RAM is filled up, especially on like a more low end PC or like average, I don't know, 8 to 16 gigs of RAM, um, then afterwards when your normal RAM is filled up your virtual memory is actually gonna get filled up So pretty much once you have like games running in the background and maybe even discord Google Chrome all that stuff and You push your RAM really like to its limits It's gonna pretty much like put like temporary data on your PC and this is exactly what we're gonna do here now today um, Set up our virtual memory so that we can avoid that our PC is gonna run slower and actually lose FPS So what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in performance until you find a just the appearance and performance of Windows and then we have like here this new window that we're gonna go into advanced and then we can already see here virtual memory and we're gonna change it here guys and you can see here pretty much right now that I have in here um, as my minimum I have pretty much 24k and as my maximum I have 49k this is exactly because I had 16 gigs of RAM and I'm just gonna show you how to do the math here so pretty much we have right now here like a small list I'm just gonna make it like a little bit smaller so that we can have everything here on my desktop and yeah, you can see like one gig of RAM is 1024 megabytes of RAM. And what you should do for the minimums is like pull out your calculator, you know, just simply here on Windows itself. And then we're gonna type in 1024 times um, pretty much like the RAM which you have on your PC. For me, it's 32 gigs of RAM. If you have 16 gigs of RAM, uh, type times 16, you know, for me, it's 32. And now this year times 1.5. And you can see my minimum should be here 49,152 because I just swapped recently to actually here um, 32 gigs of RAM. So I'm just gonna copy here the number, you know, paste it in there and we're pretty much chilling. And for the maximum, you should now do exactly like the same uh, calculation, but we're gonna take it times three. So 1,024 times 32 gigs of RAM and now times three. So, and there we have 98,304 megabytes. And this is exactly what we're gonna put in there. And so yeah guys, and once you can see now that we have everything filled in correctly, my minimums and maximums, we're gonna click here onto set. And yeah, then it should be pretty much set here already here on the top. They can check it again, 49,152 and 98,304. Then we're gonna click onto OK and you successfully change it guys. And trust me guys, whenever your RAM is like really like working hard, you know, because you have like games running in the background, you maybe even streaming, you have Google Chrome open, all that stuff, you know, like all these applications, maybe like even here animated background, as you can see from like wallpaper engine, um, it's gonna put like all these temporary data on your hard drive or on your SSD, you know, like your main system drive and actually like putting it correctly in there can literally like avoid so much stuttering games. So therefore we're gonna click onto OK and we're pretty much done here with this first step. And yeah, guys know in this next step we're gonna set some very specific launch options guys and I'm gonna show you exactly how to find out which values you need to actually put in just to make sure that Fortnite can utilize like the max power of your PC and you get more FPS or more stable frame rates here in Fortnite and what I want to show you is pretty much in the first place is that you're going to open up your Epic Games launcher and you're just simply gonna wait here a few seconds until it loads and yeah guys once we are in the Epic Games launcher itself we're gonna click here onto our name and there we can see here settings actually yeah we're gonna click onto it and once we here like in this new window we're just simply gonna scroll down until we find Fortnite in here and it should be here on the bottom side and we're gonna click it onto this small arrow and actually like open it up and then we can see first of all how to update Fortnite but also additional command line arguments which we're gonna check actually and in here we now can theoretically type and I already prepared like a whole bunch of command lines which I'm gonna put as well in the video description and we first of all have you actually use all available cores which makes sense you know like use all the cores of your CPU so we're just simply gonna copy that put it in there and press space now guys yeah you have to always have like a space between them otherwise it's not gonna work then next up we have no splash which pretty much has something to do with like rendering in the game itself which we're also gonna put in there then next up we're gonna take a look preferred processor and you can see we have like a very specific number behind it preferred processor 60 and how you can find this out yourself is just to simply open up your task manager 
go under performance and once you actually click here onto your CPU, you can now see here that we have like pretty much like all the cores, but also logical processor. And I have right now here, um, personally a Ryzen 7 5800X, which is an eight core 16 thread CPU. So therefore I'm gonna put 16 next to it. You know, you can see it here guys. If you have, let's just say like a Ryzen 5 with like six cores 12 threads, you're gonna put in 12, you know? If you have an Intel Core i7 with four cores and eight threads, you're gonna put eight there. But as mentioned for me, I have a 16 thread CPU, so therefore I'm gonna put 16 behind it. And then as the final comment, we also have here no texture streaming, which we're going to copy here in there, guys. Put it in there. And now we have like all the really important like comment prompts here, you know, just to make sure that our Fortnite has access to use like um, all of these 16 threads pretty much. And yeah, no texture streaming and all that stuff, which has actually something to do with like how the textures get rendered. So it's like not as precise, but it will result in more FPS. So therefore we got gonna click here again onto a small triangle, you know, so it's saved. You can see it here now. And then we're gonna go back and just simply go into our library, launch Fortnite and enjoy having more FPS. And yeah guys, what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description. And as you can see, we just added here this top row guys with FPS boost, retro resolution, input delay pack and we're gonna click onto fps boost you might maybe get like a small pop-up ad but you know afterwards you get it here this is the following pack which we're gonna use in today's video you might as well as mentioned get like a small ad then we're gonna scroll down in here and there you have the download button which is gonna redirect you to google drive you know just simply click onto it you might maybe get like a small ad and then we're pretty much chilling then we're here on google drive and from here you can download this registry tweak pack what i want to say real quick is guys if you're maybe searching for like input delay packs or stretch resolutions feel free to click onto this line you know and then you ju can just simply like find all these previous Previous packs which are already uploaded here on this website and yeah then pretty much once you get the registry tweak pack on your PC make sure to extract it all here onto your desktop then we're gonna open it up and you can see we have tons of useful registry tweaks in there I don't know disable background applications just simply click onto it guys you can see the kill you can see the keys and values have been changed here guys so therefore yeah everything has been added to the registry click onto ok then we maybe also have stuff like disable maps you know like who uses actually like maps on windows i personally never use that so therefore yeah just to make sure to actually enable all of these here uh, we also have fortnite high priority here which is going to put your fortnite always in high priority mode in your task manager without you having to do it every time manually once you launch your pc you know so therefore guys make sure to apply all of these here and then afterwards you have pretty much like the best max fps registry tweaks and now we're gonna go in game and test it out and yeah guys as you can see here we are right now in game and we actually have like roughly around 1000 fps with all these tweaks now applied and we are of course also going to try it out here now in game and also by the way guys today got like a brand new keyboard which is the racer huntsman tanky list with purple um, optical switches they're super clicky and i like them a lot Actually guys, like I'm soon gonna drop like a full on review of this keyboard and let me know down in the comment section below which keyboard you are actually like using right now. Like I'm super super interested. Yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me say so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night, whatever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.